Patrick Selfex. Um, today, um, today's video is about tutorials on MetaTrader 5. Okay, those who have been following my videos and also have joined my WhatsApp group, you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check in the description. You'll find the WhatsApp group uh, for this trading tutorials okay for beginners um this is about um, metatrader 5 how to use it you know most people find it difficult especially beginners they find it difficult to <clears throat> operate uh, metatrader 5 and it's it's sometimes results in loss of money and other things so to make it simple for them i'm making this particular tutorial for beginners who are now entering um, trading forex trading so in my previous video you you saw how um, we created an account on on a broker that was xness okay then how we linked it to the metatrader 5 if you are new watching this kindly go to my previous videos you find them they how to create uh, an account and also link it to your metatrader 5 so that trading can be very easy for you so this is what um uh, you have to first do on your metatrader 5 as a beginner mostly when you open this um, up you see the number of codes here very plenty and bear in mind you you guys already know what codes are okay this name codes in my whatsapp group i dropped a certain kind of pdf explaining some uh basic terms in forest trading and you find this one day codes so if you are new just still join my channel and i will i always update uh, my channel with that PDF so that people who join new will be able to get that PDF uh, tutorial so mostly when you open it uh, you find plenty quotes here that's when I say quotes I'm referring to um, this particular one showing up here okay <clears throat> that is euro versus US dollar so actually today is Sunday so it's dormant okay it's not working right now but um my first uh but my first thing that i uh, the first thing i want to do here is how to select and also how to deselect currency pairs okay when i say currency pairs is the same as the quotes okay so the currency pairs how do you select them to your to your um dashboard over here so all you have to do is click on this plus sign here okay so when you click there here are the names for all the quotes and currency pairs that we have okay we have forex tree forex <coughs> okay we have forex here we have metals we have indices commodities commodities energies and energy features okay all these are let me say they are part of forex trading whereby you can i mean invest your money in them okay most people go with forex because the fastest way of getting uh quick money okay those who have huge amount of money sometimes goes for commodities and you know energies so for my beginners i would like us to focus on forex okay so we go to forest you have to click there and you can see all these are currency pairs okay they are forest exchange okay foreign exchange you see one country versus another country currency they are all here okay 
this is currency okay currency pairs so for us to choose the proper one you know that um, in our in our pdf okay so in our pdf you know that um, the best currencies to trade on are these ones uh, line up here okay these ones they are the best currencies to trade on because they are uh, currencies move their movements are very quick okay and in a day you can make hundred dollars depending on how you you place your predictions okay so they are very quick and they are very strong and very competitive so these are the best ones as a beginner you can start to use so we are going to um, select them one by one okay we have euro usd british pound usd usd swiss france usd canadian british japanese british swiss france so you can see that we have parts of us dollar uh, currency pairs and also the british pound us uh, british pound currency pairs these are the major ones and they are very strong and very competitive that's why we have to follow these ones and choose them so how do you do that on your meta trader 5 this is how we do it as i said when you click on the plus button at the top here okay then you go to forex so one is this okay british pound usd usd swiss france okay we don't have us dollar japanese yet um i don't want to go to the old ones right now so we just have to move on to well, what was the next one here? usd canadian dollar you just click on it it will be added to your dashboard okay and we have us dollars we find we've already done that euro versus us dollar so let's see search for euro versus us dollar okay it's already on our dashboard and we have british pound japanese yen uh, great british pound so great british pound so this is it okay then we have british pound versus swiss france so british pound where is it british pound versus swiss france if it's not here then i think we've already added it also so mostly those are the ones that are very strong when you are trading on okay they move they, they are very volatile okay they move up and down within minutes and within seconds okay so okay this is the british pound swiss france so now we've added the more they are they are the ones called the major pairs okay they are called the major pairs they are called the major ones because most of our economy and our commodity prices depends on this kind of currencies okay they are challenging each, each other okay usa us dollar is is the is the most you know challenging one so and also we let's add one metal one metal that i recommend for everybody the almost superior is gold gold versus us dollar okay so we will add that so once you add it it shows up here okay so and the most uh, um cryptocurrency to trade on is um where is it okay it won't be showed yet i'm using a demo account but you find um cryptocurrencies then you can add uh bitcoin versus us dollar ethereum versus us dollar as well 
but for new beginners who are trading on currency pairs these are the ones and if you want to add any other metal then i recommend gold for you okay <clears throat> so this is how it is um and if you want to remove some currency pair from here this is how you do it you click on <coughs> you have to click on the pen symbol over here okay <coughs> then you click on the bean symbol so once you click on it then you can select the kind of currency pair you don't want on your dashboard okay then you delete it from it okay but these are the ones i recommend for all of you all though we are not going to trade on them but we are you can pick one within a day you can pick one and trade on it okay as a new beginner you don't have to trade on multiple currencies if today you go to a uh, us dollar versus uh, euros then the market is not that promising you can check the next one okay you can also check the following one just to find the perfect one to open a trade okay so if you find the perfect one then you can open a trade and make your profits it's just as simple as that so please this is how we select currency pairs on forex trading okay so the next one i'm going to teach you is how to open their chart when i say the chart um i'm trying to talk about where you will find those kind of zigzag uh, up and down uh, movements of the currency pair so for example let's take the top one euro versus us dollar okay if you want to see what is going on there you just have to click on it okay and over here you see the written new order chart properties depth of market market statistics simple view mode and uh, the one we are looking for is chart okay so you you click on chart now when you click on chart this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like and for you to determine whether the market is going up or down i'll drop that video later on this is just a tutorial on how to operate this particular uh, terminal okay so you can see these are the charts you can zoom in to see how the candlesticks are looking like when i say candlesticks i'm talking about these ones the green and the red ones okay they are the ones called candlesticks so you can predict it using those candlesticks okay as well <clears throat> so and we have something called time frame okay the time frame i'll explain it later on when um, when we are about to start trading real trading that's when you when you click on the page like this you can see the written m1 m5 m15 they are time frames okay that's the first one is one minute okay this one is one minute this is five minutes time frame 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour four hours one day one week and a month time frame they all have a role and these time frames will help you to be able to determine and also to detect how the market will move in 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 the full in the next time to come okay but i'm not going to show you here because it's it has a lot of explanation to to go about it but it's very simple you just understand it very simple so that's what i mean by time frame so this is how you open a chart uh, the chart for us dollar uh, euro versus us dollar so when you check up here you see that 
they've written US dollar uh, euro versus US dollar and they've attached the time frame which is 15 minutes okay and you can see that they've indicated that the market is closed okay today is Sunday that's why the market has been closed okay so the next one I would love to teach you guys is about how to open a trade okay how to open a trade please do not skip this kind of video because I am really helping I'm trying to help you guys to understand each and every point of this trading software if not you might make losses and also make mistakes when using it so the next one i want to do is about how to open a trade let's say we've done our analysis we've seen how the market is moving so we are come to pre predict the future okay before you can predict the future this is how you do it let's say you open the time your charts and you made all your analysis and you want to open a trade you just have to click on this symbol here okay it has a, a plus sign over there so when you click on it it will bring you here okay it will bring you here and over here you can see many things showing up here that we don't understand okay sorry about that you can see many things here that we don't understand okay so now if you if you are following me carefully this is how you open a chart uh, you open a trade that's after you've done your analysis and you want to predict whether buy or sell so you see this kind of um, hold on you see this kind of uh, sell here and you see a buy here okay they all have a role when you are open a trade those are the commands you you take okay and when you click any on any of them it will execute meaning it will start from there okay your trading will start reading from there so we have buy and we have sell okay what the buy and sell means is that um sorry i'm not able i won't be able to teach that one right now i'm just showing you how to operate it okay my next videos then i can explain further about what buy means what sell means okay so <clears throat> this is just on how to operate so once you open it this way okay you have buy and sell once you click on any of them then the market will execute for you it will start from there and you can see there are <laughs> a lot of numbers being showed up here that you and i don't understand sorry i understand but maybe most of you don't understand okay the written sl here tp here okay i will teach all of that i'll tell you all what it means and how to use them okay but for now this how to open a trade so how to open a trade when you click on that plus sign okay the top right corner then you can either click on sell or buy to execute your trade but before you do that that's where we have to focus on what all these things over here means okay so just hold on and just follow my videos watch them carefully i don't want to make them one okay it will confuse you so i will explain everything about this page and how to use them so <clears throat> let's say you've opened a trade okay i've taught you how to open a trade 
once you open the trade okay let me say um that once you open the trade and maybe you want to close the trade maybe you are making profit it's time for you to close the trade all you have to do is click here you you see down here the written trade here it means when you click there you find all the currency pairs that you are trading on okay so when you click there they will be lined up here all your trade will be lined up here so once you click on one of them it will open a page for you and at the bottom of the page you see close trade once you see that then you can click the close trade to stop trading okay it will stop wherever that you have reached whether you are making profit or loss you can click on that close trade and it will close for you it's simple as that so <clears throat> just focus up uh, as i said i will explain what uh, these ones okay i will explain all this place it's very simple okay and i'll make sure you understand them very peacefully so that's how we open a trade that's how we choose um currency pairs and how to deselect them okay i've already taught you how to you know connect your broker to this particular meta trader five okay and when you go to history you find all your all your um all, uh, positions that you open okay all the trades that you executed all the trade that you made profit and loss it will be showed up here and as you can see when you are making profit you see this bar to be green but when you are making loss it will be like red just like how you are seeing here okay i did this one just to show you guys so when you are making losses this is how it will show minus and it will be in a red form okay the the number will be in a red form so that's how this one works so you see all your history here okay and when you click on messages you can get messages from all these uh, they are like groups okay they are like channels that you can summon news channels okay that you can follow their news and everything over there so so that's how um you can operate this particular uh this particular meta trader five okay and also let me add this one when you click over here that's where we add um indicators okay when you click there you find many indicators indicators are tools that can help you identify how the market is going and also what to predict okay so if you are really um i don't recommend most i don't recommend this for beginners okay i call most people who use indicators to um to trade are the professional ones are those who are very um who are into it for a long period of time okay i can use indicators to predict the market okay but for beginners uh, you have to read a lot before you can understand them <clears throat> okay so when you click there okay you find many indicators here okay you find many indicators here when you click here all these are indicators and how to use them okay how to use them is also as a matter of you understanding them okay so i don't recommend that for beginners but i'm showing you what all these things do and you can see the dollar sign up here 
okay that dollar sign is just it shows you the currency pairs that you have okay so the one that you want to switch on you can just click on it and it will open the chart for you okay you don't have to go back here okay once you are here you can click there to change the one you want to view okay this is british from uh, switch france so it will just change it for you and <clears throat> we can also combine two charts okay like if you are trading on two currency pairs okay when you are trading on two currency pairs you have to click this symbol here like a copy sign you click there then you can add you can see our current uh, charts here and you can also add a new one here so when you add a new one you see that your windows are split into two so this one is euro versus usd then this one is british pound so let's say you are trading on these two uh, currency pairs <coughs> this is how it will look like for you so that you be able to monitor them and also execute them easily okay so this is how it will look like okay so i don't know what else to explain here but if you have any other questions just drop your comments in the comment section and i will help you but most of all i recommend anyone watching this video to join my telegram uh, sorry my whatsapp group okay i discuss everything there and also i make sure um i also make sure i i put uh, signals there for people who do have experience to at least make some money over there okay so that's for today's video <clears throat> in the next video i'll show um i'll be explaining what these things are okay all these things that you are showing here that's when you are opening when you are opening a market okay when you are opening a trade how to use them and when to use them they are all here okay i'll be explaining that for you guys to understand so thank you if you are new to my channel just subscribe there are more things to come ahead please once i'm teaching you you can share the video to your friend as well or introduce them to the whatsapp group okay as well